Welcome back, it's story time. Uh, I've got a few siblings in particular. I've got an older brother, Mike, uh, he's got his wife, Tracy, and I'm also a very proud uncle. I've got a niece and nephew, James and Caitlin. They're just eight and six years old, tiny little kids. They're adorable. Anyway, one Saturday I called up my brother, Mike. I said, bring the kids around, bring the wife around. We'll catch up, have a chat. They can go out and play. He said, sounds good. So they all come running over and uh, doorbell rings and in they come. The kids come bursting in first, the other ones afterwards. Trying to be a good host, I uh, say, I don't know, anyone like a drink? James, you know, eight-year-old boisterous young boy, he pipes up, he says, I want a Coke, I want a Coke. I look at him and I say, James, manners, ladies first. I turn to Caitlin, I say, Caitlin, what would you like? She's a six-year-old girl, what does she want? She says, I want pink. All right, fine, so, raspberry soft drink for Caitlin. James is still in the background, I want a Coke, I want a Coke. I look at him, I say, James, caffeine for you, forget it. You can have lemon squash. All right, send the kids off, they can go outside, play, run rampant, do their thing. Food colouring will do that. I then turn to my brother, Mike. I say, Mike, you are partial to a Coke, aren't you? He says, yeah, you know me. So, cook them. I then turn to his wife, Tracy. I say, Tracy, how about you? She says, Dad, had the kids with me all morning. They're driving me nuts. I need a vodka. So, vodka for Tracy. As the kids are outside, having their drinks and running around and just generally creating havoc, my brother and I, we, uh, we look at one another. We look at Tracy's vodka and we think, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Not really vodka people though, so brandy for us. Just a short brandy. So here we are, enjoying our drinks, enjoying one another's company. And then we think to ourselves, hmm, a bit irresponsible, you know, here on a Saturday morning having these drinks, they're gonna have to drive the kids home soon. Drinking and driving is never a good idea. So I decide maybe what we'll do is we'll throw out these drinks and just before we go, catch up over a glass of water. All right, and there you have it. So, module three, what are you and I gonna talk about? In our third module of chemistry, we're going to talk about chemical reactions. As you can see, by understanding chemical reactions, we can have a bit of fun, but we can also explore some very important day-to-day -day activities. So, we'll look at some different types of chemical reactions, and we'll talk about how we describe those chemical reactions to one another using chemical equations. In order for us to do this, you will need to still have your knowledge of the atoms and compounds that we've discussed so far. You will absolutely need a copy of your periodic table. It will be useful right throughout this module. Once again, sitting for you in the additional resources area. I've also put the list of cations and anions down in that area for you too. That'll be handy in a couple of our topics as well. So keep all of these resources handy. And look, without any further ado, let's get started. So chemical reactions, what we're trying to do is we're trying to show that a chemical change has taken place. That some type of matter has turned from one material into another. For example, let's have some fun. You all remember that? Your hydrogen balloon, hydrogen gas reacting with oxygen gas to make water. Let's have a closer look at this process that's happening, this chemical change. If I've got my hydrogen balloon, I'm starting with hydrogen gas, H2, there it is on the left, and oxygen gas, O2, that I have on the right. For this chemical reaction, for this chemical change to take place, first of all, these bonds between the two hydrogen and the two oxygen atoms, we've got to break them, we've got to separate these two atoms. Once they're separated, we've then got to go about making water, so we've got to reform those bonds in order to make a new chemical, in order to make our product. Now it's very inconvenient to step through each and every one of those stages every time we want to describe a chemical process. So a big part of what we're going to do in the early going is talk about how we describe chemical reactions to one another by using chemical equations. There are hundreds, thousands of different types of chemical reactions out there. Obviously we haven't got time for all of those in one module, so you and I are going to look at a few different types of reaction in particular. In this module, we're going to focus on precipitation and dissolution reactions. We're going to have a look at the important world of acid-base chemistry. We're going to have a look at endothermic and exothermic reactions, always an opportunity for some fun. And we are going to look at combustion reactions as well and the role that they play in your everyday life. Don't forget that the discussion forum is up and running as always, so head down there and discuss some of the chemical changes you see on a day-to-day -day process. In our next topic, we'll start looking at how we construct chemical equations.